But today is either uh, day six or seven. I've sort of lost track. But today's a big day because the bottom paint arrived yesterday. Uh, so our goal today is to get the bottom paint done, like the bottom's all prepared. And so our first step is we have to wash it off with denatured alcohol to get any residue and any dust and things off the hole, clean it and prepare it. And then we put the barrier coat primer on that is uh, specific to the type of paint that we're using. Well, the type of paint we're using is from Triton Hull. It's another experiment. It has no solvents in it, which is nice, which means we don't have to wear few masks and it will wash off of our hands pretty easily. Uh, there's no copper in this paint. It's Econia and zinc, uh, both of which are reported to be biodegradable in the water and they should prevent soft growth. So what we're looking for is like a pretty hard coat um, that has the biocides in it that leach out over time and prevent hard growth and ultimately soft growth because on the last paint, our ultrasonic system did a really good job with the hard growth, but it really didn't do shit for soft growth. The idea is not to put it on super thick because it is a barrier coat uh, and it just needs to have coverage, which we can tell from the red. Yeah, it'll be real easy to judge coverage on that, huh? Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's it. Easy. So this is Greg, he's one of our patrons. It's kindly come by to wake up early and help us out this Yay. morning. Yay! Early boat work morning. Messy. It's the interesting stuff, huh? It is. Okay, now that I'm being filmed, I should do it neatly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get that primer on there. Nice and neat, even strokes. This is the story of Delos. A sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now, we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. We're gonna nail this. I think it goes on pretty good. Yeah, and I think the next coat will go on way quicker too. Yeah, yeah. well, we cranked that out pretty fast with four people that went it went a lot quicker. What did we say it was going to take? 90 minutes, Ryan? That's what we were hoping. And what, what do you think it took? 6.30 was when first paint hit the bottom. Was it that early? Basically. And what time is it now? 8.45. So yeah, okay. like just, just right around two hours. Okay. So are we going to be able to pull it off today? Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the other coats? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a no stop situation yeah. here, man. We're in it to win it. All right, I'm, a, I'm in it to go get a breakfast sandwich. <laughs> and then we shall resume. I mean, that's fine. We can start painting on that. We're good to go. So we'll start on that side. This side is much tackier. This side is also good though. So it's not moving under my finger, but I earned some sticky. So clear to proceed, sir. It goes all right. It's a little thicker than the primer. Yeah. As I said before, this paint is yet another test and not currently available for retail sale, but we'll give it a shot, report back with the results, and when it becomes available, we'll let you know. Well, how'd we do, Ryan? What do you think? I think we did real well. I think it looks pretty f***ing good. Yeah, the team came out strong today. Yeah, man, good thing we had some help. Good thing we're fun people to Good old around. Jake walked by, said, hey guys, what are you doing? I was like, oh, you know, here's a paintbrush, here's a paint suit. <laughs> you didn't give me more than a split second. And then he brought us cheeseburgers. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Are you happy with it? 10 points. Oh, 10 good. points. All right, uh, I think it's day eight today and everything's looking pretty good. I think we're gonna go with a third coat on the bottom paint and uh, that'll be our first job this morning. As usual, Ryan beat me here in the boatyard. And we also got a nice little care package. This is cool. It says to Brian, Karen and Little Nugget, we love your YouTube videos. Thanks for inspiring the next generation. My wife and I own a small Volvo Pento dealership and want your next scheduled maintenance to be on us. So what do we got in here? We got, uh, looks like an oil changing kit, some gloves. We got, oh, impellers, oil filters. Dang, man, that's crazy. Coolant. I don't understand, man. People are so kind and generous and 
I just wanted to say to everybody that did this, like, you guys, thank you so much for leaving these things here. It's like a little, it's like the best kind of gift a dirty sailor could ever get, really. Sending much love to you. Thanks again. I'll put it to good use. Ahoy, Delos Tribe! Did you know that for about the same price as a cup of coffee, you can join our inner circle, which gives you lots of cool benefits like early access to our video releases, private membership to our tribal council where you can chat with the crew, and also invitations for like sailing and diving and crew opportunities and all sorts of cool stuff. Yep. So head to patreon.com forward slash espidelos for more information. And we love you. That's it. Back <laughs> to the show. <laughs> Wow, I think we finally got the technique nailed for this paint. Uh, it's going pretty good. It goes a lot faster with four people cranking away at it, I can tell you that. Third coat finishing up, looking sharp. All right, so now we're gonna put the, uh, the sacrificial zinc on. Yep. So this is uh, zinc, pretty much, and its only job is to dissolve away instead of the metal parts of the boat. And unfortunately, like, the ones I bought are too small, uh, so we need to drill through here so that this bolt fits yeah, in there. No problem. Uh, and then we, we put them on the boat and... Definitely don't want to over tighten them. got some bad news. I came back in the boat and I smelled this like god awful shitty smell and it looks like for some reason the holding tank has backed up into the toilet. I think it was quite full when we hauled out and um, I looked in here and oh god <laughs> and it's been hot in here for days and so I can't flush the toilet because I don't want it to go into the tank and then risk it overflowing onto deck. So I think I'm just going to pump it out into these empty paint cans and take my punishment. So this is the real joy of boat ownership this right here. This is like the exotic lifestyle of yachting right here is pumping your own shit out. Into paint you're cans. In a boat yard after you've been working for like eight days into a paint can because you have nowhere else to put it. It's all sunsets and cocktails, right, Brian? That's all we do out here. The boobies. <laughs> and boobies, yes. Lots of boobies. You get, this is a gray water pump, so it can take some... I don't think it's chunks. I think it's the liquid that's been floating on the top, is my theory. Yeah. Brian also loves smell, so this should be interesting. I'm, I... I just had, like, a sausage, egg and cheese, like, sandwich and coffee, so my belly is nice and full. I'm hoping to see him gag a little bit, because it'll make me laugh. Oh. Hopefully this thing will cut down on some of the... Smells. You think he's afraid of COVID, but he's actually afraid of gagging. If you throw up, I will throw up, though, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. God. Dude, what? Oh, Why is that? Is it priming? Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, <okay. laughs> Oh, God. Oh, 
that was that was thoroughly amusing to me. Yeah, you have like you have like saliva and mama coming out of your mask. Oh, <laughs> uh, my buddy Sean from Dragonfly Energy heard we were coming into Annapolis, and he asked if we'd be interested in testing uh, some of their new batteries that have an updated battery management system in it. And I said, well, heck yeah. Uh, you know, the, the batteries that we got from Transporter Energy are made by Dragonfly and uh, they're performing excellent. They're only two years old, so there's nothing wrong with them, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the new ones in, uh, test out the new battery management system for them, let them know how that, how that goes. And then uh, we're gonna have like eight cool lithium batteries uh, that are pretty new and we're gonna just give them to somebody else let them use them and go cruising with them so everybody wins uh, today me and Will from Calico Skies we're gonna be putting the new batteries in they're pretty much a drop-in replacement so all I got to do is uh, turn the power off pull the old ones out put the new ones in and uh, everything's already configured for lithium so we're in business so we are actually going to try these uh, old lithiums, being only two years old, on Calico Skies because um, our batteries are currently six years old. Um, we have AGM, which is a pretty good life for an AGM. They're still really healthy, but uh, lithium seems like it'll have a lot of benefits for us, including being able to run the water maker off the inverter. So they're all right there. That's good news. Pretty sweet fit. Yeah, it's a real nice battery compartment. The thing I really like about these batteries is that um, they're literally drop-in replacements for a normal Group 31 type battery, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, anywhere in the world you're going to find that. If you have for some reason replaced batteries yeah, and you can't get the same stuff, you can just kind of... just makes it convenient too to, to be able to use the existing cables, the existing battery compartment, and because they have the BMS built in here, it really simplifies all the other stuff, hooking them up in the boat as long as you configure the charge controllers for you know everything to the right voltages. So, and for anybody who's wondering, so Battleborn is the US distributor for Dragonfly Energy. And Transporter Energy is the UK distributor for Dragonfly. So once again, you're going in series, not parallel. Yeah, so these, uh, because Delos is a 24 volt system, we run two 12 volt batteries together in series to get 24 volts. So I basically just go from the positive to the negative, positive to the negative, and then that gives us 12 volts here, plus 12 volts here, which equals 24 volts across here. Each of these banks, one, two, three, four, are all run in parallel to these lugs here. So we have 24 volts, 24 volts, all together here, we get 24 volts here but the current pulls equally from each bank. So we can pull, uh, in this configuration, an awful lot of current. <laughs> yeah. And 12, 14, 16, 17 amps. Pretty good. 400 watts. Solar power. Fridge is all on. Yep, everything's on. Oh my God. That was a mission in this heat. Whew. We got another shipment of boxes. We've been ordering so much stuff on Amazon. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous. We had a list of coming into the US, you know, it's so easy to order things. So. Yeah, we're ordering a lot of good things for Sierra and a lot of good things for the boat. Should we open this, Sierra? Should we open these boxes? Yeah, open boxes are fun. How do you think it's going for Daddy, Sierra? <laughs> Polar seal puller trick works every time. That's it. So I'm just cleaning uh, up the seat for the seal. Getting it all close. I'll put a new foam pad in, put a new seal in. I'm gonna fill the seal spring with grease today, uh, which said I think help keep some of the water and moisture out there and maybe prolong the, the spring a little bit um, just to keep it from corroding. Bow thruster should be in real soon. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna push it up a little bit. Uh, 
Okay, and go ahead and move that jack stand under it. And I will go upstairs and yell down at you. Got it. I'm gonna call Ryan, it's better than yelling at him. Hi, buddy. Hey, is this Ryan Crawley from Below SV Delos? <laughs> Uh, I'm currently <laughs> Uh You want to give me a lift of about one inch, please? Here we go, one inch up. Okay, a little bit, a little bit more, if you can. And then twist the prop a little bit. Oh, there it went. She fit in there like a glove. Okay, hang on, let me get some screws in. All right, I'm good. Or Allen keys, I guess they are. Okay, you can go ahead and uh, raise that jack stand to, to, to just to take the weight. I'm doing. Right. Sweet, that's it. Thanks, dude. Yep, see We're you. We're all done. Bye. Oh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> uh, here's the state of Delos. Like, this is, this is the cockpit right now. And there's just like stuff everywhere <laughs> and then inside the boat is barely any better I've just got parts and things and hoses and pumps and the whole interior of the boat is like just taken apart i'll be getting it back together soon we're making good progress all right getting down in the final steps here uh i'm installing the through hole this tubing the that fits the new through hole and the barb is a little bit smaller so i've got to use a heat gun heat it up and see if i can get it to slip over the existing pipe on the boat side yes there we go that's the one i want thank you okay oh my gosh. it's a really awkward working space now i gotta put the through hole on and uh just clamp it up We'll be in business. Yeah. There we go. And that's about it. We'll be done in about five minutes, I think. Thank goodness because it is freaking steaming hot down here. Okay, Bill. So the other sale, you want to tell what's going on the other sale? Yeah, so the other sale that we sort of uh, blew up by back when it, on the way here, uh, they said that in fact to repair it was more than it would be to get a new sale. And so uh, Precision has just decided to uh, design a new one and then send us a new one and um, we'll get it probably within the next week or so. So that's pretty cool. So this is our old one that we used, that also kind of ripped, huh? This is the old, old one. Yeah. And it's got some, I think they use crappy thread on the UV cover, which doesn't make any sense until all the thread stitching has come apart. And there's also some chafe where it comes in contact with the, our spreaders. Yeah. So we're gonna reinforce that before the same thing happens to this one. Uh, the stitching is really good on all the sail. It's only this part of the UV cover on every one so i wonder if when they made the sale they didn't use the right type of thread just here uh, met some challenges huh <laughs> it turned into a real boat project it's like we're about ready to start sewing and then we realized that we're in america and the power is 115 volts or 110 volts 60 hertz and the sewing machine takes 220 uh, and we don't have any step up transformers so we had to go back to the boat. We got two lithium batteries, so we can run and be able to 24 volts. We got an old inverter uh, and some various wires and stuff to connect it up. And uh, we're just gonna make like a little power supply here. Wow. Wow, yeah. I like your- uh, Enthusiasm? Yeah. Okay. Your spirit here. Sparky cloud. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's a good sign. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's much better than a pair of jump scales. Pretty solid looking setup. Don't do this at home. Hey! Pretty challenging to 
this off. It's a huge sale, huh? It is, and this is a really nice machine, but I mean, given the size and the bulk of the sail, it's really hard, difficult with the radius of the arm. So we're doing the best we can. We might have to actually end up hand sewing some of it. Finished it. It's just laying all here, but we just packed everything away and so tired. So we just went into the AC because it's hot out here. So, but it feels really good to have that done. And then we can put the sail up tomorrow and just, yeah, it feels good to take the things off the list for sure. Well, hopefully it last us another couple of years. <laughs> okay, AC, what oh, a luxury, huh? Land living. What? Yes. Eating all the vegetables and sausages. <laughs> oh, that looks Good delicious. Yeah. Kitchen. Not even this fun. <laughs> Uh, this is the freezer that is, I mean, all these units are 20 years old for so the original ones on the boat. Uh, so I figured while we're here, I might as well just replace them. Uh, the evaporator plate in here actually has a leak. So this part is very thin metal and over years it's just corroded. So what we'll do is we'll get all the beer out of here and then we're going to pull this evaporator plate out. And I have a new one of those. So this one is a little bit different. It should just be a flat, a flat plate. Okay, cool. And then we'll pull this compressor out because they come pre-charged with these quick uh, plug, and play. plug and play fittings. So we'll pull this guy out. We might need to fashion a little mount. That guy's seen better days, huh? Look at that thing. And here's the new one right here. So let's open this up. So that's a BD-35. This is the BD-50. Gotta go to BD-50. When in doubt, go to 50. It's like 60 bucks more. Okay, so let's make sure it's the right one. R134A, ND-50. Has a speed controller on it. Beautiful. BD-50. To so take this off the wood yep. and mount this to the wood and then, you know, just so that all the holes line up and stuff. Absolutely. Should be pretty easy though. Yeah, each one of these mounting brackets here came with a spacer. Unfortunately, one of the spacers uh, disintegrated. We're having to make a makeshift one. And so I had to take this piece of rubber here, cut it in half with the X-Acto knife. Now I've got this width. And now I'm gonna put it in here, push it back in here. Works like a charm. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is, is mount this cold plate inside the refrigerator. The new compressor is in and the new hose is in and we'll just plug those up and they'll be good to go. Ryan did a real good job mounting it. Now I just got to hook up the thermostat and um, the power. We'll see how it goes. So we've got a few different wires here. We've got uh, power uh, relay for the compressor and then this is the temperature probe. And now we should be able to test it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I just heard it click on. So that's 97, that's a good sign. Because the ambient temperature in the room is 92, so it's already about five degrees above. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it start to go. 82, 80, okay, Ooh, 72 right there, 66, okay, so it's cooling, so we'll come back and check it in a while, that's good, that's good news, looks like uh, so far it's working, I'll leave it on as a test, and with this digital thermostat, now I can set it to be like either a fridge or a freezer, which is really freaking cool, and it's a nice install, it's very clean. Cool. All right, check. So this is it, huh? This is the last, the last little bit we gotta do. We just gotta do these squares from where the jack stands were. 
prime it, paint it. She's ready to splash. Splashdown is just days away. It's imminent. A huge round of thanks to all the patrons that busted their butts to get Delos ready to splash. Including Ryan and the other lovely patrons that helped out, we put in an astounding 239 hours of hard labor to get the work done. I've seen labor rates ranging from $60 an hour to over $100 an hour in Annapolis, which means we save somewhere between $14,000 and $24,000 in labor by doing all this work ourselves. Up next, we splash Delos and set sail for a cruise through New England. This right here is why I don't let Brian do any of the painting around here. I got shocked so bad the other day in the engine room because I was so sweaty and I leaned against something and I must have grounded my leg against something and it just landed like <laughs> right through the side of me and out my knee. It's like, ah! We pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. Now and we're now we're... <laughs> we got caught in like a thunderstorm warning and it started to downpour on us. Jesus, if we don't die of lightning. <laughs> like a wet t-shirt contest here between me and Brian. <laughs> and there's no winners. <laughs> yeah, no one wins. <laughs>